all right what is up guys welcome back to the channel hope you guys are having a great day so far if you guys are new please subscribe this is my k24 turbo swapped monocraft gt300 wide body mr2 mrs whatever you want to call it long name but today if you guys didn't see the pre previous video um did get the car running so that's a huge plus just taking apart adjusting the, my seat positioning and because if you watch that pci slider video I have sliders, but I wanted to change the angle of the seat um, to match the passenger seat and be more, a little bit more comfortable. As you can see from the title, we're going to be working on the little things that I've been trying to fix and make perfect. Not make perfect, but just make better um, than what I previously did, previously did in the past couple years that I've owned the car. Um, right now, I have this cut center console for my custom K2 and build shifter that I mock fitted. I do have a spare center console that um, my friend Cohen gave me. He used to be in the MR2 scene. I do want to cut it a little bit cleaner. I want to have two options, one for where the shift is completely exposed and one that's a little bit more clean. So if we get to it today, I'm going to try dremeling that out a little bit. We're going to obviously vacuum and get the seats in. But the biggest thing with this car is that right now, I'm going to turn on the headlights real quick. Right now, only one of the headlights work. And so um, for the past couple years that I've had these facelift headlights that are custom blacked out and everything, only, or they used to both work, but now one started working. The bulb I believe is fine, but on when you go from a pre-facelift car, so 2000, 2002, um, and you put the facelift headlights, you need a conversion harness. So that's what I have right here. I got a brand new one. I believe the wiring harness is the cause of my problem. So I'm gonna, put this new harness in. Hopefully it works out. So I'm gonna turn off these headlights. I'm gonna get right to it. All right, so here is the wiring harness uh, unbox. So it basically goes from your LEDs to your stock plugs, goes into your stock wiring. So this should be pretty easy. Pop the front hood here and show you guys what to do. If you guys are ever interested, I also have the link in the description below. Um, they're made by Full Speed Tech. They make other parts as well but it's hard to find um, these in stock. So when you see them in stock, which I saw them in stock, I jumped on it real quick because I know how quickly they go out of stock. So uh, I, uh, as you can tell, I have the this hood. Um, I wanna show you guys some future plans I have with the car. As you guys may or may not know, I got rid of my previous hood vent, which I'll show right here. This is my new carbon fiber one. That's why I sold it. I'm gonna put this into that OEM hood I traded for. And there's the roof scoop I'll install later. But this one I'm gonna install, I'm gonna relocate my power steering so this way I don't have to cut it into there. But in the meantime, that's why I don't have any of the frunk plastics on this car anymore. Cause when I did initially do that hood, I got rid of them cause you can't fit it with them. So that's why I got rid of them. And ever since then, I don't have it. So as you can see, front battery relocation kit um, done by Toyonda. So, and then the previous harness is right there and right there. So plug and play, let's go ahead, uninstall it, put it back together. All right, I may have found the culprit to my issue. Um, this is the old harness. That may have been an issue right there. Um, and this, I just got the second hand used, so that may have been the real issue. One well, thing I found the issue, it must have been the wrong polarity or something previously. That, that messed it up or it got too hot because the old wiring shorted out and it caused this to happen so anyways i'm replacing the new wiring no shorts here and we're just going to replace these bulbs luckily you have a backup right here all right and there it is both headlights work thank god now i'm just going to wrap up the wiring um obviously zip tight in place make sure it doesn't move too much and it'll be all set that's one thing off the bucket list um, all right i don't know if you guys can see that but there it is, all zip tied together. It's in one bunch, that way it doesn't move around too much. Then I mounted it to the frame, just so that way it's not wiggling around that doesn't pull on the cables like it did before. Headlights are great, low beams, high beams, both work. Now let's go ahead and see if we can have time to cut the center council now.
All right, guys. So this is before, and here is after. As you can see, no hiding anything. The cuts are clean. It's all bolted in. Looks amazing. All right, guys. Just an update. Vacuumed the entire car as good as I could. As you can see, I have a hole in my floor mat. So I have these custom ones that subscriber sent me. It says red line with the midship. So it's super nice. Um, love them to death. So here it is. This is my computer for the Honda data logging. Bolted that down. New center console. Bolted down. Shifter, seats, floor mats. Now for this side. This side's gonna take a little bit longer since I have to set up all the harnesses and stuff like that. But it should be all good to go. I'm gonna install this plastic trim piece first and then go ahead and install the seats. And here it is. It's all completed. Center console looks good. The only thing that didn't really work out is these seats are so wide, it kind of pushes this plastic piece in, but it doesn't touch the shift or anything. It's just a lot closer than it should be. But there it is. Everything's mounted, floor mats in. Center console fits great. Got my garage opener. Everything's feeling complete. Vacuum did, looks clean. Let's see if we can take it out to the garage and drive it into some good lighting. All right, now the last thing to install are these GoPro mounts. Um, the guy on the forums was selling this last batch. So it goes where your stock mirrors usually mount to, if you can see that. And I currently don't have the mirrors. So there's a block off plate that you put on the side that you don't want the uh, GoPro attachment to. And there's a the GoPro mount for the side that you do want the GoPro on. For now, I'm gonna put on the passenger side. That way, hopefully I can maybe record myself driving like from a front angle, um, I might change it to the driver's side later on, but for now we'll put it on the passenger side. And here it is installed, GoPro mounts here. You have to loosen it and you can rotate it any angle that you want if you loosen it. And then the delete plate is here, nice and clean. I am missing a bolt, so I need to get a bolt later on. But for now, there it is. There's all the interior mods. Another look at the shifter, this is my speaker. Another look at the shifter, seats. It's all looking great. Alright, so here's the car in all of its glory. As you can see, shooting flames. Um, here's the interior. Man, that center console looks so much better. AM display. We just need to get my wings set up on. Get my carbon fiber Lotus hood scoop in. With all the ducting. Get my new roll bar by Hopper and then the soft top delete plate, put my hard top on, and we're ready to track this thing. I just wanna get it all FIA certified, get everything ready, and it'll be all good. Hopefully shipping the car down, like I said, this next spring or summer. In the meantime, I'm gonna make as many videos as I can. Look at this thing, absolutely amazing. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out and stay safe.